This video covers proper installation of a 4 inch LR125 pressure reducing liquid regulator. For installation you will need the combination wrenches listed and anti-seize lubricant. Begin by aligning the union coupler nuts with the threaded ends, then tighten. Attach the supply pressure line directly to the body where indicated. Alternatively, as shown in the video, the supply pressure line can be attached upstream. Be sure to tap the top of the pipe to avoid debris intake. Now connect to the restrictor inlet. Make sure to use a 3 8 inch NPT outer diameter tubing or larger. Note, if the unit has a pre-piped supply pressure line, this step is not necessary. Install the downstream pressure control line with a minimum size of 1 half inch to the pilot outlet connection. Connect the other end of the control line at a minimum of 8 to 10 pipe diameters downstream in a straight run of pipe. Do not place the control line connection in a turbulent area, such as in or directly downstream of a swage or elbow. Placement in a turbulent area can result in inaccurate downstream pressure readings. To start the regulator, first make sure all block and vent valves are closed. Back out the pilot adjusting screw. Set the restrictor to the fourth position. The Type 112 restrictor controls the regulator's accuracy and speed of response. A restrictor setting of 4 is recommended to optimize accuracy, speed of response, and stability. However, the restrictor can be used to fine-tune the regulator for maximum performance. Decrease the restrictor setting for tighter control, increased opening speed, and decreased closing speed. Increase the restrictor setting for maximum stability, decreased opening speed, and increased closing speed. The 8 position has the largest flow, is the most stable, and is recommended for dirty service where the restrictor may be blocked by solid particulates. The 2 position has the smallest flow passage. Slowly open the valves in the following order. Pilot supply and control line valve if used, followed by the inlet block valve, and finally the outlet block valve. Set the pilot to the desired outlet pressure. To adjust outlet pressure, turn the adjusting screw clockwise to increase or counterclockwise to decrease. Make sure to monitor the outlet pressure with a test gauge during the adjustment. Finally, tighten the lock nut to maintain the desired setting. Your LR125 is now ready for operation. Thank you for choosing Fisher Regulator Technologies. If you have any questions, contact your local Fisher representative or visit us online.